Hey everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good Sunday. Today I am going to do the 21 questions makeup tag that was created by Allie Glines. I'm a little late to the game, but it took me a while to find some of these things. So I'm pretty excited to do that for you now. And if you'll stick around to the end, we'll do my drawing for my own little lucky bag. So, okay, let's get started. So question number one, what is your most recent makeup purchase? Okay, well, that's pretty easy. I was just over at TJ Maxx and I purchased a backup of my Becca Dreamsicle Shimmering Skin Perfector. Now this is a very rare orange highlighter and I really like orange. So, and I purchased this for $38 when it came out. It's long since been discontinued, now showing up at TJ. So when I went over there, I immediately scooped it out and it is just so pretty. Becca's my favorite highlighters. You know that if you watch my channel. And here is Dreamsicle. It's a really pretty shimmery apricot. I just, I think it's just so stunning. So anyways, if you like an orange highlighter, get over to TJ Maxx. So that is my most recent purchase. Now, if you don't have a TJ Maxx, I thought it would only be fair to include my most recent regular purchase. And that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Christmas package. It has the sultry palette in it as well as a eyeliner and it comes in a little glitter drawer and these were $65 for this past Christmas and I got it on sale half price for $32 and then was able to throw down $9. I don't know. I got the whole thing for like nothing. So anyways, that is my most recent purchase and I did check and unfortunately this did finally sell out but I kind of wanted it when it came out for $65, but I already have sultry. So I was like, no, don't do it. And then when I got a chance to get it and throw down points, I had to. Okay. So next, what is your oldest makeup item in your collection? Now I'm going to show you some really old stuff that I don't use anymore, but I keep it for nostalgia. So my actual oldest thing that I could find is this is a L'Oreal lipstick in the shade True Red. And I used to wear these when my shades were Mica, Sandstone, and True Red. I couldn't, I have a makeup bag that has all my old stuff in it. And I couldn't, I misplaced it. Anyways, but I did find the True Red. And this has got to be at least 30 years old. So let me just show it to you. I used to be big into red lipstick. And these, I actually, they still make these shades. And so for fun, they come in a gold. And these are the L'Oreal Color Riche lipstick. And these are my original two shades that I always wore. This is Sandstone. And this is Mica. They're both shimmer. One, one is a, you know, obviously a Sandstone shade. And then this is Mauve. But these are the oldest still in production items in my collection. So that was a lot of fun to find those. Um, yeah, okay, so what's my next question here? What is the first makeup product you ever used? Okay, well, I thought and thought about this because I wasn't exactly sure because I remember buying nail polish as a kid at yard sales for five cents. I remember it was a gloppy nude shade that, I mean, it took me forever to kind of get it to smooth, but that, I guess that's not a makeup product, so I'm not going to count that. And then I thought about the Bonnie Bell Lip Smackers, which they used to be jumbo. They were like this big. And when I was in junior high, I had one in bubble gum. And um, anyways, but again, that's a lip balm, maybe not so much a makeup product. So... My actual first makeup product that I can remember wearing is Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. Now, it used to have, I believe, the neon green cap and the pink. So these are more recent. But again, for nostalgia, when I bought these, I actually dated it. I bought these in December of 07. So these are 14 years old. And even though it's not as old as the original one, I had to just save it for memory. So that's a, a pretty old item. Um, 
I know I shouldn't have that, but um, another old thing that I have to show you that predates that is this is this was my when I used to live at the beach in California. This was my favorite. This is a Alme. It's kind of a tint. It's like a lipstick with SPF in it, and this is in the shade Healthy, I believe. Yeah, Healthy was my shade. Okay. And I still have a whole bag of these because when they discontinued, I went around scarfing them up. But I did find a date on this one because I used to date my makeup so I'd know how old it was. That because it, Look at this. This is October of 99. So, oh my God, 99, 09, 19. Okay, so that, that makes this 22 years old. And I still... I have used the, like, some of my ones that are already open. I, they're not, I mean, they're not, they, they still perform the same. Um, so, anyways, I just can't throw these away because I wore these for years when I lived at the beach um, in California. And they have a special place in my heart. But this is called the Alme Stay Smooth Anti-Chap Lip Color. SPF 25. So even when I was younger, SPF was really important to me. And so 99, so, you know, for 22 years at least. Um, anyway, so that it was just so fun doing this, this makeup tag, but uh, finding this stuff was another thing. Okay, um, what is next? Okay, number four, what is a makeup trend you used to love, but now you hate? Well, hate is a strong word. I don't really hate it but I just don't wear it anymore. And that is the thick cat eye eyeliner. Now I always use the Tarte um, gel eyeliners and I also use the Maybelline Lasting Drama. It came with the little brush. And this is one that I had for backup that I never cracked open, but you know, the, the wing. And I just, uh, I guess because it was shiny. I like more of a matte finish now on my eyeliner or I'll use the pencil for a soft look. But the shiny winged liner is something I used to wear every day and now I don't. So anyways, yeah. Okay, so what's the next question? This is fun. <laughs> okay. Um, what is a makeup trend you used to hate but now you love? That's pretty easy. That's lip gloss. I never was a big lip gloss person just because it's sticky, gets in my hair and all of that. But ever since Fenty came out with her gloss and I really like Jeffree Star's, the gloss, the original gloss. I haven't tried the new gloss. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with these. I like, they're non-sticky, they're shimmery. They have a vanilla scent. I never used to wear lip gloss, but now I do. Okay, so let's see what else we have. What is your favorite step of your makeup routine? Well, that's super easy and that's eyeshadow because I think eyeshadow is where you can really get creative and I like to just grab a palette and try to come up with something. Today I am wearing my old standby Summer in San Tropez. This is one of my first BH palettes that I really, really loved. I used to buy the big, the baked ones, the Solar Flare, the Galaxy Chic, the Domed. I never really got into them, but Summer in San Tropez is when I fell in love with BH. And I'm wearing this uh, watermelon shade here. And then I'm wearing this pink. And I really, really like it. And this is a great palette. And most of the time you can get over at Ulta for eight bucks. But eyeshadow is just my favorite thing because it's just, it's something different every day. So that's a lot of fun. So let's see, what's next? What is a makeup product you can't live without? Well, that's easy. I can't live without my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. That is... Mask, if I could only have one makeup item, it'd be mascara. And if I could only have one mascara, it'd be roller lash. It's great. It's not waterproof. It's easy to get off, but it is water resistant. I've worn it swimming several times and I might get a little smudge underneath my eyes, but it's, it's really water resistant and it's very, I'm wearing it today. It gives me great volume. And if I layer it, I can get a false lash effect. Not sticky, doesn't make my lashes brittle. It's just a fantastic mascara, and that is the product I can't live without. 
Okay, what is next? What sparked your love for makeup? Well, Avon brochures. Um, there were always Avon brochures. I don't know where they came from. There was an Avon lady who lived on the next street over. Probably that's where they came from. Um, and going into my mother's dressing room, and she used to have Clinique, a different graped blush. It was like a cream blush, and it was a, it was purple, straight up purple. But and I know Clinique was you know bougie for you know back in the day. So, but that's a distinct memory I have is my mother's different grape Clinique cream blush. So that and the Avon books really sparked my love of makeup and Seventeen magazine too. Being in junior high and reading Seventeen magazine, that really sparked my love. What is the worst makeup look you've ever done? Well, yellow eyeshadow looks terrible on me. Bright yellow eyeshadow. I, that is a look that looked so bad, I thought that I just had, I couldn't wait to get it off. So anyways, but since I bought the Urban Decay Naked Honey, I now love yellow and gold, but I stayed away from yellow eyeshadow for years and years and years because of that. It was, ugh. And what is the best makeup look you've ever done? Okay, Pat McGrath Subliminal. This is the Mothership One. This is, um, this is my most used Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. I absolutely love this for a smoky blue look. I use the pearl all over the lid. I use the uh, the taupe shades in the crease. I put the blue on my lid and then the transformer shade that really lights it up. But on top of that, I use MC pigment, pure pigment. And this is in the shade, let's see, 32, which is a real blue, dark, dark blue. And you just take your little pinky and you can make any eyeshadow look amazing topped with this. And it just makes my favorite smoky blue looks of all time. But... That is just so pretty layered on top of that Pat McGrath. And that was my favorite eyeshadow look of all time. So, so pretty. I wish I had a picture because, well, I mean, that's what I wear, you know, date night, anything like that. Uh, it's Pat McGrath. Okay, next. What is your favorite drugstore makeup product? That's easy. That is the Revlon Colorstay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick. It is mask proof. It You can wear it all day. It's not terribly drying as far as liquid lipstick goes. I'm wearing it today in the shade Premier Pink. I can put this on. It's going to last all day. It's not going to get on my mask. And I just don't have to keep checking myself. I know my lipstick's going to be good. The most worn shade is uh, 01, uh, 01 Nude. I, I wear this almost every day, but I also have all their colors and like this pink today is just perfect for my watermelon pink sweater. But this is a fantastic, you can get it at anywhere Revlon is sold, which is everywhere, you know, everywhere. Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, Ulta, wherever. That is my absolute favorite drugstore product. And it's only like 12 bucks and you can use coupons on it. A lot of times there's buy two, get one free. It's just, it's just an amazing drugstore product. Okay, so what's next? Um, my favorite splurge item was, of course, and I did it at the same time, so I'm going to count both of them. And you can probably guess it's the Natasha Denona Original Large 28 Pans, the green, brown, and the purple, blue. So this is green, brown. This is very, very pretty for brown eyes. You've got all your shimmers, your greens. I love green eyeshadow, golds neutrals, browns, just just totally wearable, great everyday eyeshadow palette, and just stunning. But what was this, 229? I still wanna throw up how much I paid for these palettes. Um, and then of course the purple blue, I think I did buy them during the Sephora sale, so I at least got 20% off, but still a way, way overpriced. But I do love them and I remember when people got these in their lucky bags probably three or four years ago if you bought the extra large lucky bag people were getting these palettes and 
wow, it just really set the lucky bags in motion. But these are fantastically beautiful, but just the most expensive thing, you know, who, who, you go spend $500 on two eyeshadow palettes, it's ridiculous. But maybe I got them both for 400 with the sale. But anyways, that is my splurge. And uh, I'm glad I have them. I wish I had waited and bought them on sale. But, you know, I've had them for a couple of years now. And I do love them and I do use them. So it's not, it's not, at, le at least I don't regret it. I regret how much I spend. But, yeah. Okay. What's next? Um, most repurchased. Okay. Well, that would have to be my Tarte. Amazonian clay full coverage foundation. I love this because it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide in it. It's also perfect for my oily skin. It absorbs oil all day. I have bought this for years and years and years and years and years. I'm in the shade light neutral. A little goes a long way on a sponge. Just blend it out. And if you have oily skin, I have tried so many foundations and I always go back to Tarte Amazonian clay. I'm just so afraid they're gonna discontinue it. Everything great gets discontinued and they already will get to that for the discontinued item I wish they'd bring back. But I think this is probably next on the discontinued line. It's $39, you can get it at Sephora or at Tarte.com. And uh, I will be hoarding this up if they discontinue it. So I'm going to keep checking Tarte's website to make sure they don't because they did have it on sale right before Christmas and that really scared me, it was like half price. So yeah, so, oh gosh. Ever since Maureen Kelly sold Tarte, it's changed and you know, she really put the good ingredients in the product and now everything, all the expensive ingredients are being taken out. So anyways, yeah. Um, all right, next. What is my earliest makeup memory? My earliest makeup memory is, again, in junior high, now, this isn't one of them, but this is similar. The Roll-On Lip Gloss. I don't remember who made it. It was in a clear, round glass bottle. This one's a little more square. And it had, like, pink graphics on it. And it had the roller ball. And you could get them in all flavors. This one's bubblegum. And all the girls in junior high would roll on their clear gloss... Mmm, God, it takes me back. And it smells just like it, too. But anyways, um, so I was in junior high from, I think, 75, 76, 77. Casey and the Sunshine Band came out. And roll-on lip gloss was the, everybody, that was what everybody had. So that that's another fun memory. Okay, what's next? Favorite makeup shop. Well, that's tough because it depends on what you're shopping for. Um, if you're shopping for a bargain, it's TJ Maxx and Marshalls all day long because like this $38 highlighter I got for $9.99. So, but if it's for samples, Ulta makes the best samples and the best perks. So you can get multiplier points on your credit card. You can get like 10 20, 30 piece goodie bags with purchase. You can get so many rewards. So for the rewards, Ulta is second to none. They, they're, they're crappy if you gotta buy an LA Girl palette, but um, for the, for the uh, perks, Ulta is the best. Now for the best high end makeup, it's Sephora all the way because there's nothing more fun than going into a Sephora store and looking at all the bougie makeup. I just absolutely love Sephora. The nearest one is three hours for me, and a couple times a year I will drive up there just to look at all the new stuff. Usually I go right for the Christmas holiday and um, a few other times a year, but anyways, during the Sephora sales, I gotta go up there and look around, see what I might need. But I love Sephora for that. Now for best packaging, if you want to get something fast and you don't want it broken, best shipping goes to Beautylish because they're always going to wrap your stuff. They're always going to, I mean, I've gotten stuff in two days from them and Beautylish is just the best for shipping and they're also good for finding discontinued items. You can look at Beautylish and a lot of times you can find stuff that's already long gone at the other sites. So Sephora is great for that. So, yeah, so, yeah, that, those are my favorite places to shop. Couldn't pick one. I'm kind of, 
I'm kind of doing this 21 question thing my own way because there's no just one answer. I just can't pick one. Okay, so next, most underrated makeup. Okay, nobody talks about this stuff, but I first heard about it from Tina on Fancy Face. Hey girl, hey, love you. Anyways, one day I was watching one of her swatch videos. She is the queen of swatch videos and she was showing off her AMC Pure Pigment Eyeshadow Collection. Now, this is my, I think, I don't know if this is all of them, and excuse the box. I was trying to put them in a way that I could show you guys. But anyways, these are the most underrated. They're about $21 a piece. You can pick them up at uh, inglotusa.com. They do have some shades on sale right now if you just want to try it. They've got like five discontinued shades for like seven bucks, eight bucks, nine bucks. But anyways, these will make any eyeshadow look amazing. So once I get whatever palette I'm using, I'm done with it. I will take and just dip my pinky into whichever is on my lid and I will just press it into the, oh my gosh, it transforms any eye look to stunning. And I know people right now are really chasing metallics, multi-chromes, super shine, super, I think this AMC Pure Pigment eyeshadow blows everything away that I've ever tried. And you can watch, I have a, in my eyeshadow playlist video, best glitter metallic chrome eyeshadows. And I swatch, I think I swatch all of these um, or all the ones I had at that time. But anyways, this is definitely my most underrated makeup item. And that is the AMC Pure Pigment eyeshadows. They're filled by weight and one of these will last you forever. You just dip your pinky into it and it's just <sighs> stunning. Absolutely love that. And I'm so glad that I got a chance to talk about that because that is like my favorite thing that nobody talks about. And uh, yeah, so anyways, okay, what's next? Most overrated. Um, oh, well, it was hard for me to find something overrated because I try to be careful in my makeup purchases and read reviews and not get anything bad and this is not bad but it's definitely overrated and this is the pat mcgrath highlighter that she came out with last christmas now it's very very bougie and i think you're paying a this is very very heavy and it has a screw cap but and it's very pretty i mean don't get me wrong it's a beautiful highlighter but for what you get it's overrated. I think my Becca is way more pretty and I just wanted to have a Pat McGrath highlighter, but I think I paid 50. Well, no, she was having a sale and I think I got it for 40, but still it was a 50 something dollar highlighter. And if you bought it with the Celestial Divinity palette, then the discount price made it only $40. But this highlighter is totally, I think she just came out with a new one too. This one is called Champagne Gold. And it's just overrated, totally. But, I mean, it's pretty, but it's it's too expensive for what you get. And I think, you know, $20 of that is the packaging, but it's, no, it's nothing special. Okay, favorite discontinued item that I wish would come back. And I didn't know this was being discontinued. Again, half price back in November, I think I bought some. And then now it's, I've gone... It disappeared off the websites. I was trying to buy some. I went to Ulta in a panic. It's all gone. I went to Tarte's website, totally gone. And it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay. This is their loose uh, setting powder. It's like a foundation powder. It's all gone. I'm totally freaking out. When I wear these two together, my makeup lasts all day. Even with my greasy skin, it's bulletproof. I'm in the shade light neutral. This is fair light neutral because the shades run a little bit dark, but this had all the good ingredients in it that now they've got like a shape tape powder or something like that. And if you read the ingredients list, it is way more cheap in quality and ingredients than this powder ever was. And this is called, um, yeah, Amazonian clay. It's their full coverage setting powder foundation. Oh my God. It had the little sifter in here. I use this every day. I have gone to Macy's. Macy's is the only place, I, Macy's and Amazon. I have scoured the planet 
and bought what I could of my shade, which I think I found 10 altogether. So I've just spent $500 in my discontinued powder and I don't regret it because I'm freaking out, but at least I'll have those 10 and then maybe when those are gone, I'll be able to find something. But I've been wearing these two for 10 plus years. So um, I had to get it. All right, what's next? Yeah, that's, I was like, oh, I, whew. Um, makeup inspiration. Where do you go for makeup inspiration? Well, I like to look at Jeffree Star's makeup. I think he's very creative. I like what he does. I go there for inspiration. So he just, uh, on February 26th, he's re-releasing the iconic Blood Sugar which I don't need. He's making a mini, which is nine of these original shades with one new really pretty cherry metallic in the center. But here's the original Blood Sugar. I think it's a great red palette. You have all your neutral shades, everything you need. So that's very inspiring. Then the iconic Blue Blood, fantastic blue palette that has been copied and copied again. The classic Alien palette, which I wish he didn't discontinue. Maybe different packaging that was easy to store would have been nice. But just iconic green shades and grays down here. I make smoky eyes with this. He's got some great neutrals, and these greens are to die for. I absolutely love the Alien palette. When, I'm, when I need inspiration, Jeffrey inspires me. I really, I was hoping he'd come out with something different instead of a repeat. And then he just did gloss again. We need a pink palette or we need something else, but we need a fresh palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Of course, here's Bloodlust with all your really pretty pinks and purples. It's more pink than purple, but it's it's a great, and even this uh, shade right here, this kind of olive gold is really, really pretty. Of course, Jawbreaker, the one and done rainbow palette, so great for travel and for summer. You got a little bit of everything there. Um, his iconic, I really love the cremade palette way more than I thought I would. It's just excellent for grayscale looks. So, so pretty. And then of course his latest and greatest, I think is the iconic blood money palette. And that's just a personal thing because I love green, but I absolutely love Jeffree Star's palettes. I like to look at his models, his campaigns, the crazy eye looks. It's just not boring, okay? So regardless of, you know, and I don't have, I mean, did he kill anybody? No. So anyways, uh, for inspiration, I love Jeffree Star. And I mean, like, where else are you going to get a candy apple drip? Look at this. Look at that highlighter. That is a green highlighter. I love it. That is so, I love it. I like the odd colors. I like the orange highlighters, the green highlighters, the purple highlighters. They're so pretty. So he is my inspiration. Okay, next, what do you hope to see less of? Well, I don't like glitter in my product. I don't like chunky flecks of glitter on my face. I don't like glitter, chunky glitter falling into my eyes. I like shimmer. I don't like glitter. And I'm not even really so crazy about multi-chromes. Um, multi-chromes skidding across my pink change into green. I don't really, it's okay. Like the Natasha Denona is pretty subtle, but I don't like the big flips from green to pink or pink to red or red to blue. I don't like big multi-chrome shifts in the shade of my makeup. If I'm, you know, if I'm wearing pink, I want it to be pink. I don't want it to change colors when I turn my head. Anyway, so not so much into multi-chromes. And last but not least, what would you like to see more of? Okay, what? There's not a whole lot of makeup I don't have, but one thing that I really, really like and I'd like to see more of is face palettes that are all in one that include eyeshadows. And a good example, now I love regular face palettes too. There's lots of those out. The Cheek Leaders from Benefit. I've got a video on those. I absolutely love these. I use them all the time. They usually come out every spring. I hope a new one comes out. This is the Pink Squad. Smells so good. I use it a lot. Just love this face palette. Um, I forgot to pull my Charlotte Tilbury Stone Rose all in one. That's got highlighter, contour, blush, and four eyeshadows. That one's perfect. I forgot to pull it. 
Um, my Becca Champagne Pop Goes the Glow from Two Christmases Past. That's a great highlighter with champagne pop in it. And then you've got a nice red blush and you've got a nice bronzer. Absolutely love this. But what I really like, face palettes that have eyeshadows too. And I have to go back to the BH Cosmetics Run Wild. This is the Tina Young palette. Now look at this. This is what I'm talking about. And I absolutely, this is a BH Cosmetics palette that I absolutely love. I've got two of them. Check this out. And she did such a great job on this. This palette has everything. You have a complete eyeshadow palette that will be perfect for summer travel. You've got your highlighters here. And then down here, you have your bronzers in your cheek. And not only that, you've got your mirror and it's in a nice slim cardboard packaging. Easy to travel with, so perfect. I absolutely love it. I would love to see more brands like Charlotte Tilbury and BH Cosmetics do all-in-ones with eyeshadows bronze because I'm always on the go. Like I get called into work. I want to be able to grab something I can throw in my purse and have a complete look. I want my eyeshadow, my bronzer, my blush, and my highlighter. So I am all about seeing more all-in-one face palettes like this Run Wild from Tina Young. Absolutely love it. Okay, so that's my 21 questions. I hope you enjoyed it. My name's Jackie. Please like, subscribe, leave me a message. And I did my own little lucky bag drawing. And with the lucky bag drawing, you had to answer five questions, what you would like in your bag. Throw in a couple items that I got in my lucky bag that I know I'm not going to use. And I did have 17 subscribers uh, fill out correctly the five items that they would like. So I'm going to do my drawing right now. I was going to do it yesterday, but I had to work late. Didn't get home till late. Church this morning. So anyways, these are my 17 people that are in the drawing for my lucky bag. And let me just read the names. Then I'm going to cut this and I'm going to put them in my Ulta box. And I'm going to draw a name right now. And you will be the lucky winner of my lucky bag. Okay. Number one is Monica Molina. Number two, Julia Callie Smith. Hey, girl. Uh, number three, Tomboy. Number four, Aaron Hunter. Number five, Grace Lonas. Number six, Madison Langley. Number seven, Kai Kashieka. Number eight, Zuli. Number nine, I Heart You 143. Number 10, Sea Otter. Number 11, Yami O. Number 12, Christina Snowflake. Hey girl, I'm gonna send you a little something even if you don't win, okay? I've got a little box for you, girl, okay? Uh, number 13 is Allie N. Number 14 is Makeup Lover XOXO. Number 15 is Maya Life. And Maya, I'm going to send you a little something too, okay? Christina and Maya, uh, get with me. I'm going to send you a little tiny something if you don't win. Number 16 is K-Loves. And number 17 is Sham Shine. Okay, so those are all my names that told me five things that they want. So I'm going to now cut the names and I'm going to throw them in this box. So there's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, ah, 17 on the floor. Okay, so anyways, I'm putting them in my Ulta box. And this will be the winner of my lucky bag. Good luck to everyone. If you're international, it's open to international. I just can't guarantee the box outside of the United States. Hopefully it won't kill me on shipping. Hopefully Christina and Maya Life live inside the United States and doesn't kill me, but anyways. Okay, so I'm just gonna reach in here, pull out a name. 
Okay, this is the winner right here. And let's see who it is. Sham Shine. Okay, so Sham Shine, you are the winner of my lucky bag. So if you'll please just contact me so I can get that in the mail. Congratulations. And I will try to shop my stash and find something that was on your list to include in your lucky box. Okay, so congratulations to Sham Shine. Okay, so and Christina and Maya, I'll get with you too. So that's going to do it for this one. My name is Jackie. Again, please like, subscribe, leave me a message. Hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.